Her name is oh. Estelle, and she's here with us. How are you, young lady? I am fantastic. Now, uh, let's get right to this Nicki Minaj Soldier Boy combo we were just yes. having. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so yes. listen, so I, this is the first time I'm formally meeting Estelle, and we have a mutual what? friend, yeah. legendary Damon, and he's yep. fabulous. Mm. Right, so he would use this term? Um, yeah. I mean, no, he's, not like, he's not like super OD with it, but he's yeah, he would. So I've been saying, and not that there's anything wrong with it, but this is girl and gay slang. Yeah. And how how, how does it go, Laura? Hit it once. Yes, yeah, bitch. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's you know what it makes perfect sense when you say it as, as, as a woman. It's like it, it makes sense. I, I don't Explain know to me because I don't. It's just like an exaggerated way of saying something. Like um, you like you better work, honey. It's, uh, I've learned it since I got here. So, so like, okay. It's, it's so that's more. Slang. This is a U.S. thing. I, it's kind of worldwide now. Okay. Yep. The Everyone. fact that you compared it initially to you got to work, honey, means that <laughs> your original assessment of it seems accurate. You that know? it's girl girl and gay slang. Which yes. Say, look, look, it's what it is. But Estelle, you, um, yeah. your new song that you have, mm -hmm. which is called... Make Us Say. Make Us Say. I was watching the video. You like it? Very sexy. And then Thank I was... You thinking about um, this conversation that me and my girlfriends were having how um, mm. now as women late 20s early 30s yeah. we're at our sexual peak exactly and that's all we think about we're like hey, horny teenage ma, I tried to guys. tell people people don't understand it gets better as you get talk grown about it it gets better as you get grown as a woman like guys hit their peak mid 20s don't they uh -huh. yeah. yeah we hit ours in like early 30s but the reason I brought your song up is because someone told me that this song is now one of the anthems <laughs> um, when the dudes dress up the trannies dress up and it the gays and the ball is a balls in the balls that that's what they do I haven't that's what been I'm to, told I like that I'm here for it listen I've had like a, a, a what's the word not a story but I've had like so much support from the scene so I can't even front on it. It's good. I like that everyone likes it. You know, I'm here for I want to focus more on the fact that Laura and Estelle are at an age where they're finding themselves <laughs> feeling extra <laughs> thirsty. Lord, have mercy. It's, it's my Actually, favorite that, conversation. Why is it gonna be thirsty, yeah, it, Come on, exactly. that's what it is. Why is it gonna be thirsty? Why can't I just it's be what like? It is, isn't it? It's isn't not, it? It's you not. guys are thirsty because you're in your prime. Why do we have to be thirsty? Why and can't we're we all just... dried up. We're not even thirsty <laughs> anymore. Right. You're we're a bored prune. to death. Right. You're <laughs> prune. We're bored. We're prune. I think it's one of God's most amazing jokes. It is. It is because when we are ready to have sex with y'all, you you guys avoid us like the plague. You That's think true. we're gross, whatever. That's true. And so then we're done with y'all in true. our thirties, especially if we've had our unequal fair share, like I've had. But, okay. Then we get in our thirties, and y'all just throw it at us, and we're like, yeah, I'd rather go to well, sleep. Well, we don't throw it at, at you. We are very selective of who. No, you wanna, throw the show. You throw the show for the show. No, I definitely do not. <laughs> I'll, and I'll throw something at you if you keep saying that because you know that's not true. Do you guys, uh, uh, Estelle, do you guys, have you thought about, have you, either of you guys, I'll ask, have you decided to date a younger man maybe because of this, because of that insatiable appetite that you have? I've only dated the guy, one guy older than me. Oh, really? Yeah. So you do like him young? Uh, um, yeah. Mm. Not like not babies, but like you know. Not babies. Not Good. Like babies, Thank you. No. All right. Headline for the interview: Estelle does not <laughs> Estelle date does not say young. That's very good. No adolescents. No, no. It's like no. It's just slightly. Younger. But like maybe mid twenties. Uh, mid not not mid. A little bit older than that. I'm, okay. I'm grown. So yeah, I'm over thirty. So. All right. You're over thirty. So you want them in their late twenties. Late twenties, early thirties. How do you feel about that? Laura? You know, and it's well, not I, been like a sorry. It's, it's not okay. been like a like a target thing. It just kind of happens. It just happens. Yeah, I've dabbled yeah. in the youngins. You know. I've dabbled <laughs> in the youngins. There's We're another headline. Today. We're learning today. Laura Styles will mess around with a uh, how old Laura? Mm, 25, 26. Woo You'll go down there, huh? Yeah. Is the guy you're Work seeing right now? No, he's actually a little older than me. A little bit older. And but, what about you, Estelle? You're in a relationship. Um, no, dating. It's just fun. out here. Just out. That's that's me. No, well, out here though. But he makes it seem like <laughs> right. We're dating. Just out in these streets, looking yeah, at looking at young people. Like like, loose. Out here, <laughs> loose. Shut looking up, at, me, bro. Looking at looking at fifteen. But the song, like, the song what? is specifically about somebody. <laughs> yeah, beating it up. Beating it up. Yeah. And that's how you prefer it. A beat up. I, I just prefer it not to be like a bounce off, a smashing. Like a if you smashing, will. darling. Yeah. I just don't like it when it's kinda like gentle. Like, hem, 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 okay. Don't tickle it. You don't tickle it. I'll mess with it. Go in on it. Like, yeah. Be okay. aggressive. How much damage? Uh uh this a bit much. hard to like uh quantify, okay, quantify, quantify the damage. Look, a little hair pulling? Uh, uh, a lot of hair pulling. A little spanking. You're here for that. A little Biting. trash talk. Biting I'm here for uh, yeah. yeah like, you need all that. Don't like uh, just, I am a very alpha lady. I can't do anyone being like kinda maybe sore around me. So you want somebody to light choke around the neck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Light. <laughs> hold light. up, hold up. I take that. I take that. It depends. It depends. She volunteered. <laughs> 
hot. So let's run through some other things. All righty. <laughs> We'll take all this in here. <laughs> like, well, the song. This is the song, Rosenberg. The I get it. The song is titled "Make Her Say" yeah. and "Beat the Pussy Up." Okay, mm-hmm. is the actual title of the song. Mm-hmm. And in the video that I saw, I don't know if there's. I'm told there's a new video. You were saying there was like the, some well, couples. Yeah, or something. the video that yeah. I was watching was pretty tight. It was a, a bunch of interracial couples, yeah. women of different sizes. But before that was, was a, a, just a, the a cat yeah. walking around. Yeah, we started the campaign with the viral campaign of the cat walking because everyone, you know, we had the image of the legs with a cat in between it. Kind of thing like that, and you know, and then we have the whole process of the cat walking up to the milk to lick the bowl, and you know, just a subliminal artistic like, way of saying. Yo, Rosenberg, the song. I don't it. know if you heard the song. The song is tough. The song is very tough. Estelle, what are we looking forward to from you? The album. Who's on the album? Talk about all that. Oh my goodness, the album comes out later this year. It's called True Romance. This is the first record in in the entire moment, the campaign of it. I wanted to go back and do something that felt real after. Thank you is kind of like it's the hardest thing after thank you like that's such a hard breakup song to come back and be like oh, I'm happy I and, love that you know, song thank you though. thank you but like it's such you know everyone every R&B singer comes back and they're just happy I'm like nah it, it takes me a minute it took me a minute it's still taking me a minute to figure myself out and I went to write about that in between period why were you really in a breakup situation yeah that song was real <laughs> thank you was so real really so, yeah so, you know, like I wanted to write about the in-between of thank you and breaking up with someone and getting back to the happy space and mm-hmm. that in-between place is where you go and have sex. And She's right. That's what you're wild out. Talk about it. Talk about it. So, so that's where you are right now. You're in the in-between space. Yeah, Someone no, needs no. to holler her right now. <laughs> She's dead. She is Beat open. Up. Oh, Lord. She is ready because one day it'll be gone. She used Absolutely. to be in it. Then she'll be back in again right now. <laughs> now. Now you have a 10 second portal. When I first met you, um, yeah. it was many years ago. You were in yeah. the studio with John Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he still active in your career? No, he, well, not like not as far as being signed to him. No, I started my own label um, with BMG called EST 1980 Records, and yeah, I'm I'm, I'm signed to myself. It, it works. I'm happy. And you're still writing. I'm still writing. We're still doing. We're still cool though. It's no beef at all. Right, it was just, just more the thing of like, well we've reached the end of our business partnership but we still got so much love for each other this is not the like PC version right. still mess with John still family you know like I just don't you know it's just like let me go and get my money without and, all the splits and what about Kanye West and Kanye too would you guys him. ever work together again yeah but I think everyone would expect it to be American Boy so it would have to be so probably like 5 to 10 from now on right. some classic reunited you know right, what I mean right, type right. thing so let it be we'll see what happens when it happens and who else is on the album because I know Thank You was uh, I know Akon was involved in yeah. Thank You and Jerry Wonder who were both friends with who else this time around I worked with a lot of different producers this Make a Say was produced by D. Smith um, I have uh, Justice League on the album mm. um, who else is on the album let me think about this uh, Keith Harris Desire Bell who else is on the I'm trying to think now I, I wrote a crap load on the album. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying to think. I can't how, so the album, you don't have a quite date yet. You're not ready. I know we do. It's in September, but September. I don't want to say the date because, you know, Things they move, move around. around yeah. But like definitely September. This is the first single. It's a four part theme to it um, called um, The Romance. I mean, sorry, called The Bullshit, Passion, Courage and True Romance. Those are the four phases I feel like you go through and you will get back. You know, and you're trying to get from breaking up to being cool. And true romance is the part you're trying to get to. You know, like real life romance where it's mm-hmm. not just butterflies and light and stuff. It's actually, can we talk? Can we speak to each other? Like, do I feel sexy this week? But do I have to, I don't feel sexy this week, but I have to put it on. You know, I have to make, find a way to make sure it works out. Just real life relationship stuff, you know. The crap you put yourself through, which rolls into the whole bullshit category. Where you you know you're you're trained off of stuff that you did before, so you're doing it again in the same relationships or in, the, in that interim period. It's just trying to break all that stuff down and you know and and talk about. So this is very that. therapeutic for you. This whole yeah, album. Yeah, my life is it's my albums are all therapeutic. They are all very real. Uh, people say to me, oh, you know, you've done you've gone sexual. I'm like, man, I'm 34. If I'm not having sex, like, <laughs> what, what? I don't. What, what am I supposed to I write doing? about? Like, what? The, I said that's exactly what my mom said. She was like, listen, um, so if you're 34, you're not writing songs about sex because you ain't having sex I'm scared where are my grandchildren <laughs> right you know it's just stuff like that so I don't want people to take it like oh she's you know she's done this take it for exactly what it is I'm a grown ass woman doing what I like and I'm writing and living my life I'm, I'm living my life and I'm writing it as it goes along do you um more. as a as a I guess I call you an R&B single but mm-hmm. I know you came up in the game rhyming though yeah um do you what do you love about where you are in your career and what do you hate right now I could do what I want <laughs> That's that's the one thing. It's the it's the freedom. I feel a certain freedom. I felt it before, but now it's just pure. Sh- I don't care. You know, like I'm gonna do exactly what I feel like. It worked for me before. I never saw it, and so now I'm back to it, like with a whole different, renewed energy. 
what I hate about it now is that I'm I'm a grown up, so like I like to sleep. <clears throat> so like I don't <laughs> I never want to go do nothing. And everyone's like, come out to the club. I'm like, no, nah, nah. man, no, nah, my bed's so nice. My house is amazing. <laughs> that is the hard you know? part. But when you're in the grind, you gotta go. You gotta out. go do it, yeah. But nah, it's it's the it's the fearlessness, it's the it's the you know, it's the joy and the energy that I feel right now about like just going and being able to do what I want. Yeah. And your and your mom is uh your mom was an artist and you you have a church background, is that right? I do. My dad was a drummer. Okay. And he used to play like um he's like play with session bands one he went on tour with Bob Marley when I was a kid. I never really knew him, but I hear the stories now. And he got and this is the part about it. When I broke up with old my old ex, like a couple years later, my mom and dad ended up getting married again. And they've wow. been apart for like so many years. So How long have they been I apart? Treated, like almost thirty years. They got remarried after thirty years. That's yeah. kind of wow. dope, though. Yeah. That's insane. That's kind of like, dope. So that to me is like the whole like, okay, I'm optimistic. I feel like anything could happen. You just have to apply yourself and really get into it. You know, like you just you just don't know. You know so is, ma is marriage what you want? Yeah, for I yourself. Mean, do you do. want it early or do like your mom is back together with your father <laughs> later? Later, right? Do you want it early in your life or do you want it later? I just want it when it's right. You know, that takes a minute. You know, I don't believe in the 12 years with somebody and then you get married. I'm not, I don't even know if that makes sense. Like, you may as well just got married 12 years ago. Right. You know, so to me, it's like when it's right and when it feels right and when it's on your terms, go both in. your terms, go in, man. You're going to you be there. Are you the type you, of you know? woman that will move in with somebody like six months? Um, Yeah, if it feels right. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't, I don't like wasting time. I'm pretty decisive. I am me. You know, it feels like it feels. All right, come on, let's do it. If not, then we'll, you good. I'm straight you could leave I could leave us you know we're not tired what type of man what's your favorite type of man I know you had the song American Boy but I didn't quite <laughs> believe that I thought that was a After cute little song after the breakup psh, nah, yeah. <laughs> nah. Um, I, I like an aggressive dude you know I don't like a guy who's a lay down I really can't take a guy who's just like you know I'm in control 90% of my time of my year 99% of my time of my year I'm in control of everything I do mm business whatever i'm in control i want to be able to come home and be like i don't have to think today i have to think when i get through my door i can just take my shoes off and sit down and i'm good like i don't have to make any major decisions in life right this second he's gonna say this yes. is what we're doing we're going here we're going yeah, there yeah. I want every, you to do every this. once in a while or like 70 percent of the time even down to he, even he down to <laughs> like, even cool down to clothes that you need to wear like i um, want to see you in this outfit tonight okay or take that off some right of that, now things put like these that shoes look, look. On. put in these, put <laughs> yeah, these boy shorts on and get in the car crazy yeah now like you now you sound like kanye almost like Let's go to your closet and play dress up, and then it's okay. like that Let's starts getting weird. That's a little extreme. It's a little extreme. I'm just checking. I'm just much. asking, man. Because I will tell a woman, look, I don't like those. I don't like that night outfit. Put huh? some. Put on this so I can see your nipples poke through a little bit. You know, put That's these type honest. of shorts on. I think if a lot more men were honest like that to women, they'd be so. Because sometimes so much your less. underwear is unnecessary. Like all that yeah. ruffles and flowers right. and shit. Get that out of here. Black, I white, agree. nice and simple <laughs> colors. I kind of agree sometimes, but like I feel, I feel you. But like I feel like. It, and why you got? Basketball shorts on. <laughs> oh what the God. fuck is going on in here? It's Put on something said. tight, something fitted. An <laughs> ass cheek can hang out is a little she bit. Working out? Yeah, I she shouldn't be in basketball, basketball shorts. shorts. Yeah, Even at the gym, she no. Can't that's a little weird. You wear some tights, that's man. A little weird. Look good. You want your girl to wear tights to the gym? I want other dudes to look. Yes, I mm -hmm. want them to know. Now what. you're giving too much information. I don't mind. I guess maybe I'm maybe I'm too secure. Maybe I don't know if that's too secure. Um. It's I don't see anything wrong with that though. What Rosenberg wanting, just likes to find a way to, to hate sexy, on to look my sexy. Staff. No, I find it <laughs> odd to be like, uh, Ebro's new. He acts like he's not new. He's new. That after a long time being married, every time your girl goes to the gym, you go put on some goddamn tights. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> nah, I don't do it every time. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> and, what exa wow. and what exactly am I new to? Your relationship. What's new about it? Because you still think you can say things that you're not gonna be able to say. Why? Why is that? Take off your goddamn thing. Turn off that. No, she loves no, that. hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this. I think this. I think this. I ain't been married and I ain't been in it for a long time. But I feel like if it works for either of you, like if, if that shit works, man, it's. But the thing work. is, men. A lot of times, guys in relationships think men who have been in relationships longer are hating because they'll say often it's like <laughs> right, this. Right. And every relationship's different. Obviously, yeah. I'm not ignorant to that yeah, yeah. but there are certain things that over time Slow change down, right. as you become a man well, who wants to care. be care that yeah. and you start picking battles based on what happiness you're <laughs> likely to be able to have <laughs> let me ask you that, <laughs> that i week. would know i would know from jump 
if it's a battle for her to be appealing to me. If that's a con, like we have to have a conflict because I'm like, yo, I prefer when you look You're like right. this. That's it, what turns me on. If that becomes a conflict later on, yes, we will have problems mm -hmm. because there's certain shit that I need. Yeah, if but you want me to, to maintain be a, being interested. There has to be a balance interested. though because if right. she's not Listen, comfortable with it, then it's a problem. But we would have, I would have known that the first time I was like, yo, do right. X, Y, Z. If she well, acted right. funny, we would have known Presumably then. you'll figure out the things that both work for you guys. And so, and most of the time I don't give a shit because you end up with women you're attracted to right so i probably enjoy the way she dresses and the way she fucks me and all of that and this is right what you, so you shouldn't have told too much true romance that's exactly the point that's exactly the point yeah exactly that shit i would only say that women say they're like i want a man to take control right. blah 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 and i would say you know what they do mm -hmm. but sometimes and i i think my wife and most women would actually say that too that that turns them on mm -hmm. but then on a day-to-day -day basis to survive yeah, keeping that woman happy mm -hmm. you can't nah. it becomes a blurry line of when you do that and when you don't there's do control that. and then there's controlling shoes. it's different that's it that's, taking that's control point. and being controlling is two different things and it's not a day-to-day -day activity it's a hey we're gonna do this on saturday this is where i need you to be this is right. what i'd like you to wear this is what we're gonna eat and they'll be like oh that was cute he was Right, that was he nice. He controlled. But if every morning he's like, yo, put well, this now, on. Yo, I laid okay. your clothes nah, out for that's you. That's I better not see you in a, <laughs> You better else. not be. Now it's now, getting yeah, left. Now it's getting it. weird. Mm -mm. Now it's getting weird. Mm -mm. So Shane Estelle wants somebody to snatch up by the back <laughs> of the arm. Hold on. So do <laughs> no, yeah, that part. See, did. don't say that. No. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of these walking no, around getting tackled by Siri. Come on now. No, no, no. You don't grab a woman's hand when she's walking by. Like, that's. You never do that. Because she don't know you like that. Or an arm. But if you do like a index finger and a thumb on the back of the elbow. Elbow gently. No, not this, this no, no, that's too high. No, too high. Mm -hmm. You can't do back of the arm. It's got to be right here on but the listen, elbow, just that, to get their attention and don't pull. Let me tell just you, like, that's so delicate. I mean, that's tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm in the worst position art. though, because I have to deal with them trying to holler when they're taking pictures. Oh, yeah. So you know that hands will slide way too far nah, down my back. And they I'm already like, have that arm ready. Man, I'm like, yo, my air arms. Yeah. Every picture people see of me with a woman, I'm like this. <laughs> yeah, don't touch, touch it. Just like right behind yeah, their head. Right Somewhere like here. Yeah. Her name's Estelle. She's a wonderful <laughs> person. If you haven't got into her music, please do so. How many albums for you now? How many? It's the fourth one. Fourth album. Yeah. And she makes amazing music. Thank How do you, you feel about uh, other R&B singers right now? Like, who do you love the most right man, now? Man, I'm a big fan. I'm a fan, first off. Like, I get excited when I see other R&B singers win. Because, man, it means that. I have a chance to win still, <laughs> you know, when everybody else is out there. I love Keisha. I think she's still like making awesome music. Um, I'm a fan of Fantasia. I love Lettucey. Um, obviously Lettucey's the Beyonce's, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, whoever yeah. else. And like, you know, I'm I'm here for all of it as long as it's good and it's original. You know, I'm I I get to see it all and hear it all a lot of the time you, before it comes out. So it's like, man, what? Do you feel like there's a lot of bullshit out? There, there is. There's an equal amount of crap out as as good <laughs> as there is good music. So I kind of, but you know, the good ones are have a consistent theme of being original or being like having their own voice tone or having their own style or their own way of doing it, whether it's from their Instagram or it's just a good ass, you know, their song style. You know, so to me, I, I pay attention to that. So I hear some. Uh, black women mm. the complexion issue comes up often yeah. and I never hear that I've never ever heard you talk about oh because I'm brown yeah. skin this or because oh, I'm no. this or that how come you hear it from other artists as an excuse is that because you're just not talented it, and they're blaming on something else I don't know why they talk about it I don't personally really go I see it and I I see it and it gets and you know and, I, and I, I've, I've been a victim of it per se but like my whole thing is if it's not an obstacle for you it's not you know like if you feel like it is and it is I don't give a crap about it. It's nothing to do with me. When people turn around, all races, all ages, all colors, or whatever, and be like, I love you. I love your music. You make me feel like that's all I care about. I could give a flying doo doo if you don't, if you don't like the skin tone, or mm. I don't care about you if you don't care about me or you think I'm less than. So I really put the blinders on. Like I do that. My team to the point of like, you. no, I don't care about that. Don't put me on a cover if you don't think I don't look a I but, don't but care. But you're saying that's happened. Oh, yeah, and it's been pointed out after the fact, like, you know, and I'm like, oh, well, it don't matter. I'll just go get that cover over there. It don't matter. I'll go get that, you know. It, oh, so it's just focusing it on it in a positive way. It's like, instead yeah, of seeing instead of seeing the hateful and, comments, yeah. you just see that so many people love you. Why it, and, think and about who And that's what you focus on. You can't sit there and feed the negative. I post these posts when, you know, like, these, like, you know, these positive posts on my Instagram. I was like, you make me happy when you post these things. I'm like, you have to look at stuff from a real positive perspective otherwise everyone every single thing you see will offend you if, and if you're offended by everything you see well, you're going to be offended for your entire life 
you, you're not going to do anything. Nothing's going to move forward. I can't live like that. You know, I've been told I wasn't supposed to be here, period. I'm from London. I'm I'm brown. I'm, I've got crooked, I had crooked teeth when I came out. I've got braces. I fixed them. Like, there were so many things wrong with me. And I never saw any of them until it became somebody's job to point that out to me. And I was like, well, that's cool. That's your job. I'm still doing music. I'm still getting absolute love. I'm still doing shows. I still tour the 90% of artists, more than 90% of actual artists. I do music. I'm not here to do all of that. Mm. I love clothes. I take pictures in awesome clothes. <laughs> I mean, I do what the hell I love. I can't, you can't focus your life on that. It's there and it's good to be aware of it, but you can't focus. I think that, Laura you know? right here is where you hit them with the, Yes. The, oh yes, <laughs> bitch. Yes. Oh, that's what music. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah, See, I, I do you talk about it. it. You want to try? You it try talk it? about it is like the straight guy's version of yes, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with talk about it. I'm gonna go with that.